to break this off and so it's um, tileable. Um, we're just gonna have to cut these pieces out. So I'm gonna cut it in half from this point and from this point. Uh, right now it looks like I'm over to the right side a little bit. I actually wanna be right in the middle. So I'm just gonna resection this off right there. And I wanna be able to see that. So right there. Okay. Now, to make a copy of this, I'm going to hit Control C, Control C, and then Control J. That'll give us that section, which we don't need this top here. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do this one by one. Um, so, uh, if you click Control and then click on right here inside this box, and then uh, go to Control C, and then Control N, and it basically makes a new document from the selection of this, which is 762 by 1026. Doesn't really matter at this point. And then hit Control V and paste that. Um, and we don't need, we actually don't need this purple, and we don't need this pink at the very bottom. That's going to mess things up. So we can go Crop, and then uh, Control A will select all, and then we're going to make patterns out of this. Um, so, but first I want to see if it's going to tile correctly. So I'm going to go to filter. A little trick here I learned. Um, you go to other and then offset. And if you click on plus 90 degrees or negative 90 degrees, it will show you what it's going to look like tiled. So it looks pretty good. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just show you how it would look without the tile. Um, just really quick, I'm going to do this afterwards. But if we make it so it's wrong like this this is not going to continue over here it would be right here if, if this was it's not tileable so um the key is cutting off at the right point so now if we click on the preview we have a messed up line here this is not evenly and this is running into this one these star things um so that's not going to work so let me undo that so you go to edit and then define pattern and this is where you can define a pattern. So I'm going to name this um, uh, first pattern. Hit OK. Now it's still stored in our panel um, for patterns. It's not the clipboard because it stores it permanently. But if you create, it's going to create a square that's 3,000 by 3,000. Hit OK. And then if you go to Edit and Fill, you can fill it with that pattern. Now I already have my pattern saved here, but the one that I just saved is this last one. Um, so we click on that, hit OK, and here we have our tileable pattern, just like we have here. Actually, it's going to be this one. Yep, same exact thing. So that's how you make patterns, and we'll do the rest of them. And then I'll show you how to apply it to our texture map. Um, so that one is done for right now. Now, move on to the next one, which is going to be in this section here. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just click here and see what we got. If we can make this a pattern, it would be really good. And if we can't, we're going to have to try something else. So, it looks like this might work, except for this bar down here. Um, see, because this spot right here is not going to pattern right with this spot. It's got to be a mirror image. So I think that's how I did it before, is I just took, and plus, if you notice, I'm just going to circle it. This right here, this Y, is right here, and right here, but it's not here. So we can't use this whole edge, this side. Um, so I'm going to take this, go to the very top. And we're just going to split this right down the middle. Right there. Okay, hit Control C. Sorry, you got to be on the layer. Control C, and then Control N, and then Enter, and then Control V. And you can also do this by just clicking Edit, Copy, Paste, Paste in Place. But, so now we only have half, so we want the other half. So all I do is go to crop, 
hit the crop tool and delete this sorry about that do the crop tool again extend it over now we have half of that so I'm going to copy this half and then go to edit transform horizontal and now if we have snap on that will give us our full panel. So now we select these two, hit merge layers, uh, and then control this spot here. That'll select everything in the spot. It's not selecting this empty space. Hit image crop. Go to edit, define pattern, second pattern. We'll name it. And we're going to go to here and create a new one. And this is still the 3000 by 3000, but it could be anything you want it to be. Go to edit and then fill and choose one of your, the pattern we just created. Hit OK. And it looks like it worked pretty well, except for if you want to be specific, um, looks like we have a little line right here. Um, where that shouldn't be. So I hate to go back just to fix that whole thing, but it might show up. So uh, I'm going to delete this, go back to here, and see if we can fix that. Uh, you can go back to your history and go back to where we had just the half. Um, delete that half. And it looks like it was right here. This is the culprit. This little blue line right here is causing this. So what I'm going to do is just hit Control T, and that selects everything into your transform, and just kind of bring this over a tad. So now that we have this, we can go back to Edit, Transform, and flip horizontally, and snap it to the layer, and it over, and then click both of these, hit Crop, and then we're going to define this pattern. Third pattern. And hit OK. And then we'll go back to our patterns. And go to Edit, Fill. And click on our pattern. So it patterned it pretty nicely. Um, that's a pretty nice tile. And so you kind of get the idea. Um, we now have two more to do. We have this one and then this one. So um, just from previous experiences doing this, this one down here is pretty easy. I mean, it's pretty simple. You just take this here, copy it, and it's pretty much done. Um, actually, you know, it would have to be, I think what we did last time was stop it right there in the middle of that X there, uh, right here. Um, that way we pattern tile correctly. You go edit C, edit, or command C, command N, enter, command V, and then go to edit define pattern. Uh, fourth, actually this is going to be the fifth, because we're skipping the fourth pattern. Hit OK. Come back to our pattern list and hit uh, edit fill and then click on our most recent pattern um, yeah uh, it's there's too many lines and we have this line in the middle um, so I think what we did before was uh, we had the lines but we're not going to use all these we're just going to use this part this is all we're going to be using of this in our texture. So it doesn't really matter what all this vertical pattern is. Um, but we do need to get rid of that line uh, because that's not good. Um, so so actually what I'm going to do just to make this simpler is just copy it from here to here. Go to Image Edit Crop and go to Edit Define Pattern again. Uh, fifth uh, two, because this is our second one, 
and we're trying to fix this. So <clears throat> I'm going to redo this again, hit edit, uh, make a new layer, edit, fill, and this is our new pattern. But we can always go back to this one and delete it because that one wasn't a good one. So if we hit OK again, now we have our pattern that doesn't have that line there. Okay, so I'm just going to clean this up a bit. Now, for our final one, which is this middle one, um, it gave me some trouble before when I was doing it when I, uh, and then it came down to this snake looking kind of curvy line. Um, the problem is it doesn't touch the top and the bottom until you go all the way over. And then this bottom piece is left over here because we have this and this. So it's going to cut right there and then it's going to cut right there. So what we actually have to do, um, because we didn't make our pattern long enough, we didn't extend this over, we have to take half from here and half from here. Or we could do it from here and here which would probably be the best option. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll take it from the bottom of here to right here and bring it up. But see now our problem becomes clear when I copy this and paste it to new. Um, just by using the rulers, this top here has to match this top here, which it's not because it should be up there. Same thing with the bottom. Um, it's not matching up. So that's what gave me the problem before. Everything else is fine. Um, so what I did to solve this was I just took this part out. I took this and I copied it, pasted it in a new file. Um, and then I went to our old trick here by going to filter other offset. Now we can see this is how it would have tiled. So if we hit OK, remember it's at plus 90. Uh, I'm just going to fix this really quick by uh, painting this clone stamp in. Um, so if I select right here and then paint the rest of this in. Uh, It might see if it lines up here. It's it's close, but uh, I think we're gonna have to try it one more time just to see if it works again. Yeah, we're still getting a little uh, pattern there. So if you change this back to negative 90, um, that will give us the same thing on this side. So uh, actually, the better way of doing this is. Mm. Oh, there's plenty of ways you can do it, but I think I'm just going to take this, hit Control T, and rotate it so that our tops match up. It looks like our bottoms are going to match up too. And then for the background, where you have this see-through here, I'm just going to take this color and make it that, and even paint in uh, where this is showing here. These little artifacts and we go to the crop tool and crop it right here now let's take a look and see if this tile is correctly almost uh, it's close um, that's an easy fix with this clone brush tool here um, I'm just going to take this and drop it down and this here a little fix down there and then we're all set um, so merge these together hit control A and then control C and then uh, control V and then control T and make it fit that spacing there now, um, 
I think you have to merge these. Uh, but that'd be a destructive. If we ever wanted it back, we would have to go back and redo it. But I think we can just test it out like we did this other one. Hit offset. Looks like we're good, except for right here I see a little a little uh, line there, which is coming from right here. Um, so we can fix that pretty easily just by doing the clone stamp. Okay, so because we can just define the pattern without it, and this is going to be our fourth pattern, and we're almost done. If we go back to our main file here with all our patterns, and then go to edit, fill, again, choose our final pattern, and now it's tileable. So there we go, that's our tileable panning, tileable texturing panels. And we'll use these to create um, this stuff here by just doing some quick edit, copy, and scaling um, procedures. Um, so let's let's do that. Um, okay, so uh, delete these layers that we don't need, my old layers, and then save this as all patterns uh, video. Hit save. Wait for it to save, and then I'm gonna try this top one first. So remember that this is the one with like the big uh, uh, flower or clover leaf or, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this one here. So I'm just gonna hit select all, control A, control C, which copies it, and then new layer, control V, which pastes it, and it's pretty big, um, which is good because the bigger it is, the better quality we're gonna have. Um, I'm going to scale it down, bring it over here, I'm going to put it on top most. Um, let me just hide my work that I've already done. Um, and put this right here so it lines up. We don't actually need this line, so I didn't delete that. And then, like I said, we don't need anything beyond this lower than this bar here. So. We'll get rid of that, but I just want to scale this so it lines up with our texture. Then I'm going to delete what we don't need. So we don't need that, okay? Now we're getting somewhere. So now I would just hold Control Alt and then Shift and drag it over. And what we get is our tileable texture. Uh, I'm going to take them both and merge them. And then, uh, based on our grid, if we go to View Extras, we have this grid here that we made our textures fall on. So, in order to save this, I'm just going to select this. And you notice it's snapping to the grid because I have View Snap to Grid on and Document Balance. Really, the Document Balance, not, we don't need that right now, but the grid, it really comes in handy to get this texture only on this grid. Um, so you could cut this a number of ways. Um, I like to do just a control C and then control J and then delete the old copy, the old layer. Um, I seem like that way the best or you could have selected a selection, hit control shift I and that selects the inverse and then delete everything outside of this box. That works too. Um, Uh, we would have to merge these first, and that works too. Um, so either way, uh, however you want to do it. Um, so now we're going to do the same thing with these rest of these textures here. Um, so let's do this uh, one here first. Um, we're going to have this little curvy snake line that we had issues with earlier, and then we're going to end at these um, bumps here. So let's find that one. Looks like it's this one. I'm going to control s copy this, make sure I'm on this layer. Control new layer, control paste it, and then scale it. Comes in pretty big, which is which is good. Um, another thing I wanted to mention too is um, um, if you wanted your textures to be bigger, 
and more high resolution, um, you could always, instead of making this one texture with everything on here, you could in sense just get this texture from a box in 3ds Max and make it uh, the size of the entire box. So you can make it this whole size and do individual textures. But I just figured it would save time a little bit faster to make them all in one file. Um, it's up to you. Um, you can have more render time and it's going to be a lot more work for not really much more quality. Because um, these look pretty good from this view. Um, close up, you can kind of see them start pixelating. Um, so if you wanted those more high res, you could do the other option, which is rendering them out individually. Um, right now I'm just going to get rid of these extras, um, the grid, and kind of scale this down to where we need it. Uh, another trick I learned here, um, right now we're way too big, um, but we can actually get rid of what we don't need. I'm just going to hit Control C and then Control V, or Control J I mean, and delete the old one. Now we have this one. Um, what was I saying? Oh, for this trick, um, uh, if you click on the blending mode and hit difference, um, you can actually see through uh, the image. So this helps a lot when you're trying to get an image over an exact image, um, which I'll show you. It, it works pretty well um, in cases like this because you want to get it exactly. Um, and when you do get it exactly on top of there, it will show up. It takes a little getting used to, but you can see it's right on top because these images line up. Um, so uh, there we go. So it's there it is. Uh, I'm just going to move it up a few tabs, and now we have that. So what can we do with this now? Uh, obviously we're going to have to apply it to this whole corner here. So um, first thing I want to do is actually extend this to there, throw this layer underneath and now we have a double tileable layer. Uh, I'm going to grab this, like alt shift, bring it over here and then copy this layer and hit control T and then rotate it by holding shift and moving the left mouse button. And now we're going to make our corner. So if we take our selection tool and cut the corner off from the leftover and hit delete, now we have our corner. So um, let's get rid of this. I don't need that part. Actually, we are going to need some of it, just to get that extra part there. Um, so we can actually merge these now, and we can bring them over here, and voila, now we have our corner piece. Um, it might look a little funny because of, actually, yeah, it's just got to match up um, seamlessly. So that's that's pretty much the same as we had before, and you kind of get the idea. Um, so if you wanted to finish this, uh, you could just copy this and place it over here. Make sure it lines up, especially uh, this one's a good one to use the pattern of these leaves here to make sure that they line up. Um, and then you would just copy this down to here and copy it again and again. And then once you have those, uh, you can select them all and I like to group them in this folder here. Okay, so to make this corner piece, um, I'm going to copy <clears throat> these two layers over. Hit Control T for transform tool, rotate it 90 degrees, bring it over here and line it up. Um, 
Should be about. Make sure we line this up right. It's important that it's lined up right, otherwise it won't look as good. Um, looks like we're getting a little too weird textures here, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. Um, my selection tool and just delete what we don't need there. Okay. Oops, the piece there. Okay. So now that this corner is done, we now have this corner done. Um, but it looks like it's a little off, so we move it over a little bit. And go ahead and delete that little spot there. So now, uh, all we need to do is flip this and rotate it again. So I'm going to copy this piece, make sure that's lined up correctly, and one more. Okay, um, let's find this one on the other side here. There it is, copy this, make sure it lines up correctly. Right about there. Okay, so now we have the top done. It's going to be pretty easy to do the bottom. We just copy this into a new group. Hit Control T, flip it, hit Enter, and bring it down. And there we go. Now we finished our. Uh, it's not a door; it's like a window. Um, but we finished our molding around there. And I'm not going to go into doing the rest of them because um, it's pretty much the same idea um, as far as these ones on the other side go. Um, this one's just a little bit smaller, so you just gotta cut that out in pieces, and then same concept with these ones here. Um, make sure they tile correctly, and line them up. So uh, that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next lesson.